U.S., U.K., Japan to kick off submarine hunting drills in Western Pacific. A submarine hunting exercise featuring warships from the United States, United Kingdom, and Japan will begin on Thursday in support of open navigation in the Indo-Pacific region, uh, it says announced in a press release. Focused on anti-submarine warfare, a U.S. Navy P-8A maritime patrol aircraft from the War Eagles of Patrol Squadron VP-16 will participate in the drills. The United Kingdom will provide two frigates, and Japan will send a destroyer, maritime patrol aircraft, and a submarine to join the U.S. 7th Fleet for second exercises of its type. Uh, the initial trilateral anti-submarine drill was held in December 2018. The Royal, uh, Royal Navy, Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, and the United States Navy all support a free and open Indo-Pacific. Um, Captor Commander Task Force 7 said, Exercises like this demonstrate our nation's resolve in the region while improving interoperability, maintaining readiness, and learning best practices from one another. One thing that's going on right now is they are getting ready all over the country in every state for the the elites or whoever may live there. People are getting warned right now. People are getting the little red letters. People are talking about the uh, the big dark. So if power goes off for the entire country, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna are you gonna bug in a dark house with no generator, no nothing, no supplies? Or do you not have the capability to bug out? That's the thing. A lot of people don't. There's. It doesn't matter how uh, prepared you are. If you watch something like the show that came out a couple years ago, the Doomsday Prepper guys, those people are always not prepared, right? There's people that spend all of their life earnings or spend hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they're still not as prepared as they want to be. They just keep going. So I guess it's almost like a hobby to some, but I mean, even just having basic supplies, they told us to be prepared for six months to a year. That's what their internal stuff is saying. And they blasted that out. I mean, the Department of Homeland Security and all these different agencies saying, you know, in case this happens, do this. We had tons of pictures sent in of extra transformers and then somebody made a really great point they said if an EMP hits then none of those transformers will be good but if a cyber attack happens then those secondary transformers would do good if it was disconnected and they blew the transformers through some sort of cy cyber warfare that would be a different thing <clears throat> is something in Venezuela is that some sort of uh, practice run or are uh, it are some troops using that as practice? We are practicing to fight in the dark. We are practicing, and you've heard the military callers say, some of them said, you know, I'm doing this training. Some of them said, oh, I wasn't lucky enough to do that training. It sounded fun. Even the gentleman who made a video basically uh, saying one of my videos, uh, he was correcting my video saying, oh, the, J the, the JBLM tanks are covered because they've got electronics, all this stuff. That gentleman called in, and he's in Hawaii, and he said, no, I, I wasn't able to. I wanted to. Like, he's all pumped. He, he wants to do the nighttime uh, night vision goggle training. He's in Hawaii. That's the seventh state, seventh military member directly telling us they're doing these nighttime training. Why are they doing nighttime and tunnel training? Unless they're planning on either taking out a country like NK or if they are planning on battling our own ground in our already existing underground system that we do have. Dumbs, uh, deep underground military bases do exist. I mean, it's, I mean, it really is. I mean, it's not like a conspiracy theory that we have underground bases. We have a ton of them. We have a couple that are public that somebody could, uh, you know, blast nuclear nuke nuclear weapons all across the country 
and they could sit inside of a mountain. We have those. Those are public. But the ones that they don't tell you about are all the ones they've spent trillions of dollars building. Our military knows it. The people that call into this show know it. <clears throat> it's about time that people start realizing like this is this is a real thing. And the next five, six years, this is going to be like what makes or breaks the country. I mean, if you didn't know that like we were headed towards some sort of precipice when uh, when Donald was elected, that was an upset. You have to realize how crazy that was like Bush winning in Florida. Like everybody knew like that's that's a legacy. He was going to get it. His dad was president. If he didn't get it, could you imagine how embarrassing that would be to the family? So they had to switch things around. They had to pay some people off. They had to switch some stuff, in my opinion. But the 2016, him winning over, how? Do you understand it? Like, it wasn't a voting turnout because they have that fixed. Some other big power. That is, to me, what says that there is some huge cabal power fighting with another huge cabal power, and they're both going at it. Because Hillary had every ounce of backing from every single media. How do you beat somebody that has every single network behind them? At the same time, the other guy having scandal after scandal after scandal after scandal. There's a reason he's a president right now. Something big is going on. Either by purpose he's there and he doesn't know what he's there for or he knows exactly why he's there I mean come on be real with everybody like that wasn't normal that was history the first like I mean he had no I mean how many other presidents just kind of say oh I'll be a president now came from you know I mean even you had the the Reagans and uh, you you had a couple that were previously actors, right? They had polit uh, politicians experience. You don't just go from having a reality TV show to being the president of the United States. If this isn't the uh, epitome of like idiocracy, then I don't know what is. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. Things are changing right in front of our eyes. And I think it's going to be too late before people realize what is actually going on.